great to see you. Alphonse Mazon, I know they just said that you have some connection to John Bonham. Please tell us about that. Yeah, in 1973, I started a band with Larry Coriel and, and Randy Brecker called uh, The Eleventh House, a rock fusion band. And in 73, at the bottom line, uh, 74 actually, John Bonham, Led Zeppelin, Jimmy Page, they came down. Jimmy Page was friends with Larry Coriel, and John was there, and he saw me play. And after that, a year later, I, re uh, I released the Mind Transplant album with Tommy Bolin, who played with um, Deep Purple. And um, so that's a fusion record, my record. And um, Bonham, John, would be at the hotel three in the morning, set up his drums and playing my records, all my records. You know, and waking up the people. <laughs> so I'm in the L, uh, uh, Led Zeppelin LZ75 uh, book. Okay. They talk about that, those incidents with John, and mention my name a couple of times. And then in 1975, 1995, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, yes. when uh, Errol Smith introduced Led Zeppelin, Robert Plant got up on stage and paid tribute to, um, I guess, Muddy Water, B.B. King, and he said, and like Bonzo listening to Alphonse Buzan, we created our sound, so that was a good. That's so, so, so right from, I should be here playing, yeah. <laughs> since I have and, a personal and, connection. And, <laughs> but and, I've never played here. Never and, played. and I know, again, you played with Tommy Bowen. Did you play on the, the teaser album and or funny, Private it, Eyes? Uh, I just got a call t 10 minutes ago, or 15 minutes ago, from Trace Keen, the writer, um, did the Tommy Bowling book, and um, I'm go I told him I'll do it. You, you know, this summer I'll make uh, clear my calendar so I can. I'm gonna do the um, Tommy Bowling Festival, and um, um, Seuss, yeah, Iowa. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do it. We gonna, what, what can you tell us about the person, Tommy? Tom, Tommy was a genius, a sweet guy, really nice. You know, I mean, uh, I uh, like since he died. I mean, every, there's maybe like at least twice a week. I'm thinking about Tommy. At least, at least, Tommy's always there, and he knows. Really imagine the, yeah. the music that we lost yeah. out on. I know Tommy was amazing. He, just he, was a, he was a genius. I know he was just only 25. You know, so very, uh, very sad. yeah, very sad. But like I said, at least twice a week. But what advice? What advice do you give to the young musicians today? Just. Um, Keep your head straight and learn the music business and keep playing. You know, get, get high off the music. Get high off the music, exactly. You know, that's all you have to do. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you. Great night.